Welcome back. In this lesson, moving forward, I'm going to talk about the concept of network intrusion. So there may be a situation where you have the possibility of external attacks or hackers trying to get into your network. So here in this lesson, I'm going to focus on the concept of network intrusion and some of the different kinds of attacks that you can possibly face. But first, what is, in fact, network intrusion? It's basically any unauthorized activity on your computer network. So if you detect an intrusion, it would basically depend on the defenders having a clear understanding of how attacks work. And if you're aware of the different kinds of attacks, that would allow you to better secure your networks. So typically, such unwanted activity absorbs network resources. They can access your data, for example. Your network can be slowed down, for example. Or they can reach out and email users, send malicious emails, and so on. And it nearly always threatens the security of the network and or its data. So in one form or the other, the bottom line is that your data is affected. Here are the different types of attacks. I put together the common ones and the most famous ones. First is the traffic flooding. So there may be an attack where extra packets or massive amount of data that is being flooded through your network. And this causes the network to bog down or slow down terribly. Second is the Trojans and the worms. These are just types of attacks which are malicious. So the worms, for example, would replicate themselves and Trojans would not. So they would just sit on your network and anytime the user does something, they would be activated. So these are again malicious code that is being sent to your network. Brute force is another type of attack. If, for instance, the attacker wants to find out all the passwords of all the users on the network, they would initiate a brute force attack. Similarly, denial of service. So they could attack your network and one of your users on your own network would be unable to log in, for example. Port scan is another type of attack. The attacker in this instance, for example, would scan your entire network for any vulnerable ports or open ports so that they can inject malicious software. So these are the attacks that you need to be careful of. And once you know these attacks, it's easier to secure your network. The network intrusion detection is basically a system or called the NIDS is a type of intrusion detection system that attempts to detect malicious network activities. So such as port scans, I talked about the DOS, which is the denial of service attacks by constantly monitoring network traffic. So here you can employ or deploy rather a system which is going to constantly be on the lookout for any of these attacks. The NIDS will then report any issues that it finds to the network administrator as long as it is configured properly. So now the network admin or yourself, for instance, would just get an email saying someone tried to get into through a certain port. And you can detect that IP address, for example, or the request coming from a certain source. The network intrusion prevention system is designed to inspect traffic and based on its configuration or security policies that you set, it can remove, detain, or redirect malicious traffic in addition to simply detecting it. So this is a preventive measure that you can deploy, which enables you to preempt the attack, in fact. So anytime, once you configure a security policy, for instance, any traffic coming outside the network or from a different region, it will just remove that data and send it out to the recycle bin or any other location that you desire. What you can also do is work with internet content filters. And what this is, is simply a filter which is usually applied as software at the application layer. So now you're protecting your, in fact, your software itself. 
not just the ports, not just the your hardware resources, but also at the application level. So for example, if you need to secure your SAP environment or your databases or any other applications, you can do so using the internet content filter. And what it does, it can filter out various types of activities such as access to certain websites, email, instant messaging, and so forth. So here, in a nutshell, what we just talked about, the network intrusion concept, you need to be careful and watchful of any potential attackers and potential vulnerabilities within your network. What you can do is you can set up detection and IDS, for example, that's a system you can deploy, or you can also take some preventive measures and set up certain content filters to filter the actual traffic and understand where the data is coming from. So I hope this helps. Let's move to the next lesson.